Hi guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be discussing about Sula Vinyards, uh, why, uh, Sula Vinyards. Okay. So as usual, you know the the pattern remains the same. We talk about the business model, we talk about the result, and then we look at the management commentary and see you know what has been the outlook like for the for the future uh, for the future quarters or the or the coming year, right? So starting first with the business model, if I have to start with the Sula Vinyards, from the name itself you understand right that Sula manufactures and sells wine. Okay. Apna hi kuch ka ek brand hai for which they manufacture. It and they sell it again. Okay? Here, one interesting thing you can see is earlier they used to sell other people's wine also, like third-party car brands, you know, imported wines and everything. But now that that part of the revenue that is there, that is completely gone. I mean, they no longer sell the third-party revenue. Uh, th sorry, third-party wines. And we've seen gradually, it's not that you know, overall overnight that the third-party wines are no longer there in the portfolio, but over the I think over the last two years, we have seen it gradually decrease, 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 and now it is zero percent. Okay? So if you see the revenues, jo hai, usme 88% jo hai unka hi wine hai theek hai around 88% of the uh, revenue is contribution is from their own wines that they manufacture and they sell theek hai and another 8 to 10% that is there is coming from the wine tourism right so they have their vineyards in nashik there they do a wine tourism where people can come stay uh, stay in the resort or the hotel and you know they can they can experience what it is like you know to be in a vineyard that is one thing and the other is like 2 3% here others other income it, it is that so this is the so right now there are two main sources of business one is their own wines that they sell and the other one is the wine tourism okay so first let us just look at the result in, at a glance the q2 fi24 result agar aap income statement mein dekhte ho overall the revenue has just grown by 11.7% and on a quarter on quarter basis it has grown by 21.1% now here is the thing right agar aap the top line has been a little bit disappointing yes of course it's okay it is decent 11% is growth is decent disappointing why because we have seen sula grow at a 20% ka rate right if you see even the last quarter and the quarter before that and everything the wine here was growing at 20% 20 i think the top line was growing sorry not the wine the top line was growing at 20% and now that has that has reduced and uh, you know it is hardly 11% so you can tell that the pace of growth has been falling down the overall positive reason for the result i'll tell you is although the top line has been decent is the profits the profits have grown at a faster rate than that of the top line i think the profits has grown by 17% on a year on year basis yeah 17.9 and the on a quarter on quarter basis it has gone up by 68% so there is a good amount of operating leverage you can see right uh, uh, in in this in this business now let's talk about the the uh, the uh, this 88% ka jo revenue hai jo aata hai unka khud ka wine say let us see what has been happening there because that is a huge part of the book right 88 percent is not a joke and then the other 10 percent is wine tourism okay let me first start with the wine tourism so wine tourism i think even in the last con call if if you or if you watched my video in the last update also i have been um you know, I, uh, there has been a lot of demand for the for the wine tourism. Like people want to want to book the uh, how do you tell book the resort or the hotel, but you know there isn't enough or rooms to cater to this. And last time also they increased the room. This time also they added three new villas and they added some sixteen rooms in the uh, yeah sixteen rooms and three new villas in the in their Nashik. Uh, Nashik wine yard, right? So over there it is good. If I have to talk about only the wine thing, also it has grown by twenty six percent the revenue from there, and the uh, the tastings that are there, so wine market taste karte, you know the different tastings that are there, that has grown by forty three percent. So uh, that segment is doing really well. Okay, there is no problem over there, uh, absolutely fine. But only thing remains is the fact that you know it is still a very small percent. It is hardly around eight to ten percent of the book. So that eight to ten percent of the book is doing well. Now let's come to the the main part that is the 88 percent of the book where they are manufacturing and selling their own wines here over the last three four quarters they've had this plan where they want to shift the focus completely to elite and premium wines now there are two kind of wines they sell okay one is the elite and premium wine and the other one is your normal economy and popular range wala wine agar aap elite and premium wine ka dekhte ho there they do not have a lot of competition and there the margins are also really good okay whereas in the economy and premium wine wahan pe itna sara competition hai because in Nashik alone, right? There are so many vineyards, and they're selling so much, like 500 below ka wine. And also, one thing is, wape margins is it's very hard to uh, you know strike the margins over there. So this is something that has been the plan. Uh, sorry, uh, something that has been the plan for Sula vineyards for a very long time. You know, they want to shift into economy and premium and try to reduce that economy and popular wine as much as possible. Agar aap dekhte ho ki like wo uh, economy, sorry, the 
the elite and premium wine it has gr uh, grown by 15 15% on a year on year basis and right now it is around 73 to 74% so out of 88% it is 73 to 74% is the majority chunk is coming in the elite and premium so there the trend and the aim that they have set is going on really well if i have to talk about the breakdown of volume and value growth if you see the volume growth has been around 13.3% in the elite and the premium segment whereas the value growth has been 15% okay so there also no problem overall good uh, nothing to complain in the economy and the jo 10% ka jo abhi bhi economy and popular wines aate which is below INR 700 or INR 500 category there there has been no volume growth and i think there they have taken also value growth the price hike uh, the value growth has been 4% so there it is a very dull and uh, uh, you know how do i tell you a bland space uh, to talk about so in terms of if you have to talk about volume and value b kuch kuch uh, i mean there is nothing nothing Thing wrong there everything is going good except the pace of growth has come down now one of the reasons why the pace of growth has come down is uh, as you all know uh, Sula Vineyards, the majority of the revenue now also comes from Maharashtra only, okay? because they are they are they have a plant in Maharashtra. Uh, I mean, their their vineyard is in Maharashtra. Not just that, when they started, uh, you know, the whole Vipska scheme was started. What is this Vips Vipska scheme? Is if you are a vineyard, if you if you happen to like manufacture and sell any wine, if you especially manufacture and sell wine in in Maharashtra, then that wine is exempted from tax. That company doesn't have to pay tax. So I think. Even if they're paying tax, it's hardly very less. I think, uh, I think it's rupees ten per liter. I'm not. I think rupees ten per liter or per ton liter. I'm, I'm, I might be wrong here, or I'm not sure about the exact what is it. But having said that, it's very, very, very less. Okay. So this is the advantage they had over there. So they were saving up a lot, no tax to be paid. Now what happened? I think oh, uh, the last quarter, right? The the management. Uh, you know, they sent a circular on the BAC telling that the Vips, uh, Vips has not, uh, uh, the, for the blended, whatever wines they've blended, the Vips is no longer there and they have put a tax on them. The government of Maharashtra has put a tax on them of 100 rupees growth. Now, the ongoing litigation with the, you know, against the government is still going on. It is still on the court. And regarding the tax, jo, so, so ka tax jo tha, uspe, they have got a stay order from the Maharashtra, from the High Court to, to the uh, Maharashtra Income Tax Department, or sorry, not the income, but the against the Maharashtra government. So that is that is that that has been gotten a stay order. The other thing also, since now what has happened is because of this Vipska thing, the wine, ka, uh, wine consumption in Maharashtra has been coming down or the revenue contribution that has been there, uh, uh, especially from Maharashtra has been degrowing a little bit. So compared to last year to this year, from that space, from Maharashtra, jo revenue aata tha wine se, it has been reduced by 8%. So now you understand why that the revenue has hardly grown by 11%. Because like I told you, earlier we saw Sula growing from 18 to 20%. And now it has become a low double digit 11%. So percent ka jo top line aata tha, wo growth aata tha, it has been whoosh from the whole uh, Vipska scheme or, you know, because of that impact that 7 to 8% of revenue is lost this quarter. Now, one thing to highlight, yes, this, of course, going forward continues to be a risk because we do not know. I don't think any of us here uh, knows like when this whole Vipska thing will get better or if this uh, tax issue will get over, you know, or when it will be over. So this remains the biggest, biggest um uh, risk in the business the biggest impact for all we know you know again the revenue can also degrow from here if if again the maharashtra remains impacted okay so that is that uh the only other thing i would like to highlight here another thing is in terms of uh capex right uh another thing i would like to highlight here is in terms of harvest because see when you talk about wine the what is your important raw material there is it is your grapes and grapes are seasonal like if there are like a lot of unseasonal rains or if there is lack of rains then of course right grapes ka jo hai, or let's say if which is too much sunshine. It is heavily dependent on the weather. So here in and and agar grapes ka harvest nahi hoga properly, then uska dam bad sakta hai because there's a lack of demand. And you know all the problems you can imagine will come to the business. So as of now, even for 2024, they see you know there is a good harvest season. They don't see any problem in terms of harvest. So that is a good thing. In terms of capex, there is one thing I would like to highlight here is they have a winery, right? In Karnataka, they have two wineries. Ek unka hi kutka winery hai, and the other winery that they lease out. Thikhe, 
मतलब वो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट होगा दे लीज इट आउट देयर नाउ व्हाट दे आर डूइंग इज दे वांट टू शट डाउन दिस लीज का प्लांट एंड शिफ्ट ऑल ऑफ दिस प्रोडक्शन टू देयर ओन वाइनोली एट देयर ओन फैसिलिटी बिकॉज़ यू नो इट इज नॉट फ्रूटफुल फॉर देम लाइक नॉट नॉट जस्ट फ्रूटफुल बट नाउ दैट दे आर फोकसिंग मोर ऑन द इलीट एंड द प्रीमियम वाइन्स दे फील दिस लीस्ट कैपेसिटी या लीस्ट का मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट जो देयर इट इज नॉट अप टू द मार्क ठीक है सो दैट इज व्हाई दे वांट टू कंसोलिडेट ऑल ऑफ देयर ऑपरेशंस इन द कर्नाटका रीजन इन द बेंगलोर रीजन टू देयर ओन वाइनरी एंड आई थिंक दिस वाइनरी समवेयर बिटवीन द बेंगलोर एंड मैसूर यू नो इन दैट वे ठीक है एंड अनदर थिंग दैट दे आर डूइंग इज दे आर डूइंग अ एक्सपेंशन इन द इन द महाराष्ट्र के महाराष्ट्र का प्लांट अ स्मॉल 3.5 लीटर का ही एक्सपेंशन हो रहा है लाइक आई थिंक टू क्वार्टर्स अगो इट वाज 6 मिलियन कैपेसिटी का एक्सपेंशन हो रहा था बट नाउ इट इज हार्डली 3.5 लीटर एंड दिस विल बी अराउंड 2.5 टू 3% ऑफ द ओवरऑल कैपेसिटी आई थिंक इट इज जस्ट मोर और लेस लाइक अ मेंटेनेंस कैपेक्स नथिंग लाइक वेरी मेजर समथिंग दैट इज हैपनिंग ठीक है सो दैट इज अबाउट सुला द अदर थिंग या other the thing i would like to highlight is when i talk about elite and premium wines they are adding more and more category especially they have introduced this new wine called the source the source range or something so yeah the, that that is a name the source range and it has also been accepted well and well by customer and you can see right elite and premium wine may volume growth is 13.3% whereas uh क्या बोलते हैं इकोनॉमी में दर इज नो वॉल्यूम ग्रोथ ओनली सो ओवरऑल दैट हैज बीन द रिजल्ट इफ आई हैव टू टॉक अबाउट आउटलुक एंड लाइक अर्लियर वेर दी सुला मैनेजमेंट यूज टू गिव द गाइडेंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम दे वुडंट अप अप लाइक स्ट्रेटली टेल यू नो व्हाट द रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ वुड बी लाइक बट द वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम गाइडेंस दे वुड गिव दे वुड टेल लाइक हाउ 20% हो सकता है वॉल्यूम ग्रोथ या 15% दिस टाइम देयर इज नो गाइडेंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम वेदर इट इज व्हाटएवर ऑन वैल्यू ग्रोथ या उनका रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ में टॉप लाइन में या मार्जिंस कुछ भी हो देयर इज नो एनी काइंड ऑफ गाइडेंस राइट सो आई थिंक this is i do not know but i believe it could be an indirect way of management telling ke like probably this wips ka issue that you know there will be a lot of overhang and there could possibly uh, uh you know like a slight impact on it on the top line because say what you want a 20% ka growth engine falling on to 11% is is not a good sign so the pace of growth falling for the business is is definitely a big red flag here other than that in terms of business operations if i have to tell it is good only disappointing thing is that that the top line ka pace has fallen of course because of the wips issue and the volume growth ka uh, volume growth also has been impacted as a result okay so of course let's see how it does in q3 and q4 probably in q3 it will do way better uh because as you all know it is a festive season right uh any consumption company is bound to do better in a festive season so i think another thing to note down here is to see jo bhi q3 mein ho raha hai that is not just a one time quarter ka impact like you know just because it's a festive season you seeing i think important thing to note down in q3 is to see if that growth whether it is in terms of top line or volume which is important criteria is sustainable so having said that that's that about uh, sula vineyards and yeah see you again uh, today only uh, with probably i think i'll start doing some other sectors also like probably do campus and start with manufacturing space so yeah that's that and uh, yeah take care bye bye